to the quarterfinals of the Little Caesars Horizon League Basketball Championship, a rematch of the title match from two years ago as Green Bay continues to keep their hot shooting streak alive and they face the Raiders of Wright State first of two tonight as we get into quarterfinal play here in this Horizon League Championship. A look at the bracket as yesterday Green Bay shot the lights out of the gym to get to this matchup with Wright State. All chalk so far, but will that continue in a topsy-turvy world of this Horizon League tournament? Hi everybody with Tim Doyle, I'm Will Haskett. So glad that you could be with us for this one here tonight. Tim, how about this one? This is a third year of Motor City Madness. In the first two years, the top two seeds in this tournament, 0-4. They've never won. Does that change today? Well, you got to put that in the back of your head, but you can't worry about that. What concerns me about Wright State is they've won both of these meetings this year against Green Bay. But the way Green Bay felt so comfortable here at Little Caesar, shot over 50%, made double-digit threes. Their offense was flowing. It's difficult, Will, to beat a team three times in a season. Well, and the big reason why they shot so well yesterday, Cam Hankerson just absolutely went off in the win yesterday against Detroit Mercy. He could not miss from the floor, setting a new career high with 36. Yeah, and his teammates did a wonderful job of finding him and position to score. Once he was able to set his feet, he was lights out. He said post game, he apologized for missing any shots at all. Can't forget about that. You were seven of nine for three, a career night as Green Bay was clicking on all cylinders from an offensive perspective, well over 50% from the field, but they are going to have their hands full with the Horizon League freshman of the year, loud and love. The Geneva, Illinois product is really a throwback. Brings his lunch pail to work. He's got muscles on top of muscles. Great touch down low and last out against UIC. 23 points, 15 rebounds. Will, this is a freshman that's not getting tired. Wright State has won both meetings. Green Bay's won three in a row. Will Haskett, something has to give tonight in Detroit. Again, these two teams met for it all in 2016. That was when Green Bay won four games in four days to win its second Horizon League championship. Wright State preseason pick fifth. Scott Nagy has... Prove the doubters wrong in taking this team all the way to do a game out of first place when it's all said and done. They wear the home whites and will run through their point guard Cole Gentry. Trying to find loud and love here in the early going. And Gentry, who was eligible at the semester, has been a big part of this second half resurgence for the Raiders. Ernst Townsend trapped with nowhere to go. Contested shot missed by Mark Hughes. And the rebound, as many, will be controlled by Khalil Small. Sandy Cohen the third. And a rare miss from three-point range for Green Bay. You see that starting lineup. Everybody can shoot the three for the Phoenix. They made it at a 56% clip against Detroit Mercy yesterday. Love, deep touch, too strong. Green Bay wants tempo. Wright State wants to slow it down and grind things out. We'll see which philosophy wins out. Tough step back from Small was never enough. Now Link Darner, the head coach of Green Bay, that's what he wants to do, Will. You touched upon it. He wants to create havoc. He wants this game to be a track meet up in the 80s. Got 90 points yesterday against Detroit Mercy. They want to get offense from their defense. Turn over Wright State, make them feel uncomfortable on the offensive end. Love creating space, just manhandling his way to the basket and then showing that improved footwork for the first bucket. You know, he reminds me a lot of Luke Herringody, the old Notre Dame star, the way he able to use his footwork and his body, carving out space down low, and then the patience not to just rush to get to his spot and finish. Looks a little like Luke Herringody. Got that mop top kind of flat on top, but that one gets away from Small out of bounds. If you don't know the backstory of Loudon Love, great football player in high school in Geneva, Illinois, blew his ACL out his senior season playing basketball, and then redshirted last year into the Wright State program where he was shedding weight, getting his body back and right, and really used that year to just develop all of those skills in the hands around the basket and a double-double threat each and every night, building block for the future for the Raiders. 6'9", 275. They don't build them like that much anymore in basketball. Sets the screen for Gentry, who was on fire the last time these two teams met. Range from Benzinger to make it 5 nothing. That's what Benzinger does. He had 21 against UIC. He was 4 of 9 from 3 in that game. He's been lighting up this league for a long time from the perimeter. Hankerson gave it right back, and Cohen traveled with it trying to initiate. And 
This is going to be a better defensive effort tonight for Wright State than Green Bay saw yesterday as Benzinger just creating something for himself. Yeah, the 6'3 senior from Moeller High School. They've rolled out a lot of terrific products there in the Cincinnati area. And Benzinger's had a very solid career, has found his place. And as a defender, you really have to crowd him every time he touches the ball. He's a threat from anywhere on the floor. Gentry, no. He was 5 of 5 from distance against Green Bay and setting a career high earlier this year. Missing that one, and Pipes trying to get the Phoenix on the board. And well, I don't know what happened to the rims overnight, but this is not the same shooting effort that we saw 24 hours ago. No, and if you really go possession by possession for Green Bay, I'm not sure they've taken a good shot yet. I know they want to play fast, but that doesn't mean rushing as Link Darner expressed to us. It means getting the shot that they want. Love, great seal, another up and under as he got around Jesperson. 7-0 spurt to start this game for Wright State. Green Bay's turned it over twice and missed all three shots. Make it 0-4 to start. Love again, just eating up the post. But Winchester didn't use him, couldn't finish. Jesperson almost gave it up. Cohen faces. That was contested. And Link Darner starting to pace a little bit more on that sideline with his offense completely out of sync. Well, in both meetings this year that Wright State knocked off Green Bay, the Phoenix were under 40% from the field in both meetings. And hit off of the body of Winchester out of bounds and will take us to our first timeout. Absolutely perfect start, just the way Scott Nagy would draw it up for the Raiders, blanking Green Bay to the first media timeout. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. You kids hear about this rad Little Caesars lunch combo deal? Four slices of deep, deep dish pepperoni pizza and a 20 ounce beverage now for just four bucks. Get a Little Caesars hot and ready lunch combo for the incredible price of just $4 for a limited time. Pizza, pizza. Today, the automotive industry is undergoing dramatic changes with the rapid implementation of electrification and autonomous technologies. So as suppliers, we need to be increasingly fast and innovative to keep up with these changes. At Hitachi, we're working closely with our other divisions and research groups to implement these innovative technologies as quickly as possible. Get a Little Caesars large hot and ready classic for just five bucks. Pizza, pizza. The 2018 Horizon League Championships are sponsored by Little Caesars, home of the hot and ready pizza. They're the transformation inside Little Caesars Arena for the first postseason basketball play and the first postseason play of Loudon Love's career, showing why he was the all freshman here in the Horizon League this year. Yeah, well, if he keeps catching the ball that deep in the post, this is going to be a long, long night for Green Bay. It just seems like the red shirt freshman has gotten stronger as the season has worn on. You touched upon earlier all the weight loss and really getting his body right. The last regular season game before the conference tournament, he had 23 points and 15 rebounds, five offensive against UIC, and just manhandled the Flames. This is a guy that's going to be scary good in the Horizon League for years to come. He had high Division I offers in football to be an offensive lineman, wanted to play basketball, and was sold on the vision of Wright State. He's trying to fight through a screen. They're going to say Jesperson was moving when he set the screen. Link Darner cannot believe it. It's called for the block. It'll be the third Green Bay turnover. And again, the Phoenix averaging 76 points a game, put up 93 
last night against Detroit Mercy. They're averaging 100 in their last two games. And they're nearly five minutes without a point on the board here, Tim. Yeah, and I've not liked their execution at all. You know, last night they did a great job of kind of spreading that wealth around. They had 18 assists on 29 baskets. And so far in this game, well, a lot of standing around, a lot of long shots. Five of their field goal attempts, four of them have been threes. Jalen Hall, tough work in the lane, and will stay here on a foul on the rebound as they will get Khalil Small, I believe, with the push down low. No shots on this play. Wright State's done a nice job of executing and getting to the spots they want. Green Bay's defense has not affected the bunch so far start. Love on the bench. Hard to get the ball into the post for the Raiders. Hughes recollected, but Ernst Towson with a great cut to the basket and the red shirt junior has his first deuce. It's clinical defense on the other end for Wright State. And now Green Bay, O of its first six off of that miss by Parham. At that time, at least there was dribble penetration and a kick out. Shooters like to shoot inside out, I believe, because when you're shooting around in the gym by yourself, someone's feeding you normally under the basket, so you're able to establish that rhythm. Benzinger to his spot, makes it, and a quick timeout by Link Darner, who has seen enough both defensively and offensively from his team night and day from day one to day two and Wright State looking like the number two seed we expected to see. Yeah, there just seems to be no resistance for Green Bay. We talked about how Link Darner wants to play, get offense from their defense. So far, Wright State's been able to move the ball left to right. Love's had his way down low, carving out space. Darner's done a remarkable job here. Let's not forget 2015-2016. They went to the NCAA tournament, Jordan Faust, Carrington Love, upset number one Valpo, and then went out into the dance, only in his third season. A Gene Cady disciple. Thank goodness he does not have the same hair, Will Haskett. <laughs> and Green Bay beat Wright State in that championship 2016, and the Raiders then making a coaching change, bringing Scott Nagy in to begin last season and a team that was really known for gritty defense. They've added the dimension, good offensively now, and they've just really developed now into this program of precision and execution that already in year two, you can see what this program is gonna look like under Nagy's leadership. Small, trying to break the seal. And it's still on top of the rim. Benzinger sneaky with that quickness. And then threw that pass away, but was able to maintain the possession. Nagy begging for movement, got the back door cut, but Hughes never looked comfortable off the corral. Small takes on the world. Baines. Didn't touch anything uncontested to the rim. It'll stay here or walk the other way. What was the call? Out last touched by Green Bay. An O of eight start. Phoenix have the advantage in terms of depth. While they're young, Wright State is really limited on the opposite side. But right now, Link Darner using his depth just to find anybody that can get the ball in the bucket. Here in Wright State with loud love back in the game. The way he's been able to carve out space has got to be the guy you're looking for each and every possession. Will the double come? Cohen is shadowing to bring it. Love split right through it, did everything but finished him. That looked pretty. But you just love his patience yeah. down low, Will. He just never seems rushed. Parham through the defense. Love gets a little elevation to recycle it. Now what hasn't the freshman from Geneva done in this game? The way you say love in Italian. Amore! Give me some of that. Small going to try and will his first bucket in and gets the friendly roll. 
Mark the tape. Seven minutes and ten seconds into the game, and Green Bay is finally on the board. And no surprise it comes from their leading scorer, the heart and soul, and Khalil Small. Great leave off by Hall, but Love this time couldn't elevate, and then the Phoenix couldn't corral it. I don't think the explosiveness is all the way back there yet, Tim. And just couldn't stretch it over the 10. Yeah, his mind was telling him yes, but his body was telling him no. Sorry, R. Kelly. I think I owe you about $45 for saying something similar to that. It's actually the remix. Love starts two of five, make it two of six. That one was a wild drive. Look at the hustle by the Raiders to save it. And then Hughes was well off. And good recognition falling out of bounds by Hunter Chris to throw it off the defender. Link Darner giving an earful to the official. And this is a smart play from the 6'3 freshman Chris. He recognized I'm going out of bounds. Well, he's already out of bounds. He'll just throw it off the hall. I think Darner wanted a foul call against Hall there for pushing, but Phoenix still gets the possession. It's an important possession for Green Bay because you look up at the score, you're only down nine, and you have not played well to start this game. Small travel. Fourth Green Bay turnover. And an opportunity for that man to try and settle his troops down. Brilliant start by Wright State. A night after shooting 55% from the floor, Tim Doyle Green Bay tonight starts one of 10, including missing their first eight shots from the field and trail by nine here in the early going. Well, we all know Link Darner wants to play fast. They average over six, 76 points a game, but. The last few possessions have been better, Will. The first couple were just a nightmare. A lot of forced shots, a lot of quick shots with no offensive rhythm. That's the only field goal Khalil Small, Small was able to make. They got to take better care of the ball. Four early turnovers, no assist. It's been a nightmare start, but you look up at the scoreboard, only down nine. This could be 15 or 18, so still within striking range. Big reason why, defense working on the other end. Wright State's missed its last five from the floor. They're just shooting 36%, and they have not scored in three minutes. That's about to change as Love and one. There is no contact. He can't finish through. I mean, if this is not Luke Harangoti reincarnated, well, I guess Luke's still alive, so I guess he can't be reincarnated. <laughs> but still, this guy just reminds me so much of the former Notre Dame star that scored over 2,000 points. Now, one thing I'll say about Harangoti, he had a jump shot when he got to college. Can Love develop that little reliable 17-footer that made Harangoti such a good threat? Yeah, I, I think we remember Luke, you know, junior, senior year. I'm not sure he had that in his yeah. repertoire early in his career. I mean, this guy's only a freshman. It's scary how good he could become, but I think he understands his strengths and his weaknesses. That's Green Bay's strength, shooting the three. First of the night, Jesperson gets it down. And they survive a horrible start to be within eight here midway through the first half. Yeah, Jesperson has made 53 on the year. That leads Green Bay. Oh, he's short the whole way from Hall. But he runs down his own rebound. And tipped down on the sideline. They'll stay here with the Raiders. You know, when I played in the Big Ten at Northwestern, my senior year was Greg Oden's freshman year. And I remember telling our center at that time, you know, when Odin's on the floor, and I'm using this comparison because a guy like Loudon Love, he's so big and burly, that if you're Jesperson, this is a game you got to take eight, nine, ten threes. You got to bring Love out of his comfort zone on defense. Love pulleys his way to the basket, probably got fouled. There's no call. Scott Nagy can't believe it. I guess if there's one downside of being 275, the contact isn't as recognizable. By the way, a night after scoring 36, that's the first shot for Hankerson, and it comes at a good time. He was remarkable from three against Detroit Mercy. Seven of nine made his first six. And he right now is in the zone. He loves Little Caesars Arena. He is eight of ten from three-point range in this tournament. And a foul called on Sandy Cohen the third, just bumping out. And Link Darner thought he had earned a travel call and instead watches his junior get rung for the foul. Yeah, you just can't give that much space on defense. Mark Hughes late to recover. 
And Hankerson made a pay. Ernst Housen looking for room. Has the size advantage and shows the lefty hook, but just an ounce too strong. Green Bay can play right back to a one possession game. Small. Well, he invented the contact and will head to the free throw line for two. Yeah, I think they're going to call that on the pass. And Will, I think you make a good point there. Right when you feel that contact, just throw it up towards the rim. You can almost see that contact coming from a mile away. The senior Small should have done a better job of putting that towards the basket. There was no one to pass it to. They say it was not a shooting foul. Yeah, but it was the ball was going in the wrong direction, so I think an easy call for the official. Great head fake by Hankerson. Couldn't finish as Ernsthausen went straight up. Winchester right through the contact of Christ, and he'll have two. All right, here's the deal, all right? If you're not going to call anything on the Hankerson call, then I think you got to let it go on the other way. Winchester was attacking the basket. I get it, but so was Hankerson. And I like the fact that they let him play through contact. Will, I think you pointed out, defender was straight up. Good call. But then kind of ticky-tack on the other direction. Everett Winchester, redshirt freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Fresh off a career-high 19 in the season closing win at UIC, which assured them the two-seed in this Horizon League championship. One of two. The way this game started, to be just a six-point lead has to be somewhat disappointing for the Raiders. Small. Well, Will, think back. How many layups do you think Wright State has missed in the first 11 minutes of this game? Five? There's six of 18 from the floor. And one of those six makes is a three. Winchester. Pretty little teardrop over the double team. You, know, you look up and down Wright State's roster, you see a lot of youth there. Scary to think how good they're going to be in a couple of years. The ball poked away. Get Hankerson fighting for Winchester, fighting for it, and he'll get called for the foul. Uh, March is upon us, and love it, guys, laying it all on the line. Wright State, Green Bay, this is what makes March so special. All the records go back to zero, and anybody can make a run. Well, you know the Horizon League as well as anybody. This is a league where ones and twos has had a very difficult time. Especially since we've gone back to this neutral format. That touched out by Gentry, 14 on the shot clock for Green Bay. And it was this day a year ago when 10th seeded Milwaukee beat two seeded Valparaiso. And then Youngstown State shocking top seeded Oakland that put the madness in Motor City Madness. Possession arrow keeps it here. Eight on the shot clock for Green Bay. So will the two seed, again, last year the new format with the one and two seed playing on the first quarter final day it was the semifinal by the season before where both those seeds lost as Gentry couldn't save it in. And it'll stay with Green Bay again. If you would have told Link Darner before the game that you were only going to have eight points the first 11 plus minutes, he probably would have thought he was in big trouble. That eight point mark stays the same. Gentry on the run out has no help and nowhere to go. Trailer is Hughes. And Ernst Townsend touched it last. Neither team racking up offensive efficiency points right now. Now it has not been pretty from an offensive perspective, but if I was Link Darner, I would get Khalil Small somewhere in his comfort zone. They're attacking within that 12 to 15 foot range. Small took a look at the clock. Hankerson, quick trigger. That may have been just a bit too fast. Teams are a combined 10 of 37 from the floor. 
Gentry wanted it, now does take it and drills it. Gentry shooting 39% on the year. They shot that one with confidence, didn't they, Will? Scott Nagy recruit through and through. He was on his way to South Dakota State when Nagy took the job at Wright State. Transferred mid-semester a season ago, then became eligible when the calendar flipped this year. He's inherited the point guard duties and has given this team an added layer of toughness. Jesperson over the back of Ernsthausen will take us to a timeout. All right, Wright State with a nine-point lead thanks to some strong inside play from Loud Lane and Cole Gentry doing his part on the perimeter. It's always out there. The horizon. A reminder that our greatest goals are rarely attained. And as soon as you reach one, another emerges. But every day we rise and work harder, dig deeper, ask one more question, take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. Here in Detroit, it's time. Time to show the world what we've got. Because right now, it's game time, show time, move in time, and time to experience Detroit for yourself. Time to taste it, hear it, feel it, witness it, and believe it. This is Detroit, and we're here to tell you, it's go time. Caesar's large, hot and ready, extra most bestest with the nation's most cheese and pepperoni at the nation's best price of just six bucks. Pizza, pizza, so nice to meet you. Pizza, pizza. Each Horizon League school has committed to end relationship abuse by teaming up with the One Love Foundation to educate all student athletes on healthy relationship behaviors and by empowering them to be leaders driving change in their communities. To learn more about the One Love Foundation, visit joinonelove.org and connect socially with hashtag HLCares. Midway point, or just past the midway point of this first half of play, and a little rust on the two offenses in this one. With Tim Doyle, I'm Will Haskett. Wright State leads by nine despite shooting sub 40%, and Green Bay a night after shooting 55% from the floor cannot buy a bucket. Loudon Love back in and had it knocked away in the post. Hankerson on the attack. Good hesitation. And Love, the immovable object in the paint. Gentry wild drive was hit on the elbow. That will be the seventh foul against Green Bay. And we are in the bonus now for Wright State the rest of this first half. Gentry shooting over 85% from the free throw line, so we saw him bury a three earlier. This guy's got really simple but yet perfect form. I mean, come on. <laughs> right? You have a perfect setup. You might have to rethink the scout after that one, part. <laughs> Love telegraphed on right to Small. Third right state turnover. Small going quickly. That's an important drive. Got down the court before Love could recover and was able to take advantage through the lane. Yeah, the first team All Horizon League performer had an offensive rebound put back and then a tough drive in the lane. That is where I believe he's at his best. I know he's improved his three point shooting, but when he's attacking, oh so tough. Love, good look out of the post. Just that ounce too strong for Gentry, and then Love knocks it out. Link Darner is begging for a call on Love underneath, feeling his guys are getting manhandled. So far, no whistle against the big fella. Hey, hey. 
I'm Green Bay, I'm going back to small. Get him in a situation where he's going north and south towards the basket. Pipes and a legal screen against Sandy Cohen. By the way, Green Bay has gone to freshman Will Chevalier. Big 6'8 frame just to try and provide a little bit of resistance against Love in the post. You know, I'm surprised we haven't seen some zone from Green Bay in this game. As far as, you know, forcing Wright State to shoot more threes. And that three goes down. Mark Hughes this time makes his first from distance. Pipes, elbow jumper, no. Even without their best offense, it's just so hard to put together a run against Wright State. They've been able to maintain this lead built from the very early go. Floater too strong. Love couldn't corral. Here comes Hankerson trying to get out in transition. Small, too easy right there. Beautiful hesitation, and Khalil Small has eight. Khalil Small needs to touch every time down. Small is four of seven. The rest of the team is two of 15. And Love, that will be a block. Inside the restricted zone, perhaps, for Sandy Cohen the third. Yeah, Link Darner, as well, not happy with the call. But I think Love, don't like, love the restricted area. Now, sometimes guys are moving, and the fact that they're outside, they're going to get that call. But I think it's the most difficult call in all of college basketball, Will Haskett, the, the block charge. So you're, you're taking the difficulty out of it for bing bang underneath the hoop. Absolutely. Now, sometimes the guy's moving, but he's outside the arc. He may get that call. But the fact that the arc is there, it's definitive then. You know, I remember driving guys to be standing under the basket. And I thought that was erroneous. So I love the arc. And it makes it very easy on a call that I believe is as difficult as holding in football. More of a subjective call than an objective call sometimes for the officials. Two for Love. He's got eight. And a timeout called by Green Bay. Officials didn't know if they wanted the timeout. That is the second timeout called by Green Bay here in the first half. And with 4.52 to go, back to a 10-point lead for Wright State. And defensively, you can't be really upset for the Phoenix right now, but offensively, what do they need? What adjustments need to be made in that Green Bay huddle to try and get some sort of rhythm? Because right now, you stated the numbers. The rest of the team, 2 of 15 other than Khalil Small right now. There's no help right now for the senior. Yeah, I, I would get Small and some you know, pick and roll opportunities where he's able to get into the lane and create. You know, Hankerson had that enormous game yesterday where he buried seven threes, but watching that film, well, a lot of those threes were off a of dribble penetration, off a of great ball movement. And so far in this game, you know, we haven't really seen that. And that also hats off to Wright State's defense. Both of these meetings this year, Green Bay has shot below 40%. But I would get small with the ball, going north and south, and maybe creating some off the dribble, if not for himself, for his teammates. Small sets a down screen and then comes and gets it. Goes right through Ernsthausen, and they're going to call a block on the big man for Wright State. Well, Small looked out of control. I thought Ernsthausen was there, but. Yeah, you got one of the best young officials in the Midwest, Steve Honaki, on that call. And he was outside the restricted area. We were just having this conversation. I think, you know, a difficult call. He went to the hip. Green Bay ends up getting it. Now that may be a little bit of a makeup. Because Link Darner has been hustling yeah. those officials this whole first half. Loud and Love's been playing physically. Look up at the scoreboard. He's got no fouls. Small. Wants to pop over Benzie. He couldn't do it. Chevalier. He'll take it. And hit it. The big fella. 35% three-point shooter, averaging just under three a game. He's hit his average, and his team back within seven. Yeah, 18 of his 23 made field goals have been three, so that's where he feels most comfortable. 
Bernstausen. This time he's called for the charge. Back-to-back -back trips where he gets called for a foul as Pipes look to pull the chair from underneath him. Let's see this one more time. He has the mismatch here. And once again, a difficult call, and it goes Green Bay's way. Trying to get Chevalier on the pop-out screen. The most recent hot hand for the Phoenix. Small over Hughes. Game getting very physical underneath for both teams. Love one on one. Chevalier did a good job keeping his ground. And the three on the kick out from Love to Hughes. Great hesitation and it hangs in the air with Hughes awaiting a charge and Hughes runs it down. Now Wright State thinking they may have numbers. Gentry just baited his man and just wants that shot back. But pumped around Hankerson had the right idea, but no one was there to squeeze it. That's a good shot for Small. I mean, you get a pull up from the elbow, you're a Division One basketball player, you have an advantage three on two. If you're linked Darner, you're happy with that possession. Eight to shoot, Gentry season. Up a high screen from Love. Beautiful discard of the double team. How crafty is this redshirt sophomore? Small through and Hughes got part of the arm. And it'll be two free throws for Small after the timeout. But Wright State, Tim, has built its largest lead. Yeah, if I could do it all over again, there's few things I'd want to learn. How to split a pick and roll and how to read. Wright State's up 12. Wright State has built its largest lead of the first half. They have led from the very beginning. And good balance on the offensive end, a big reason why. Six of the seven players that have played for Wright State have made at least one field goal. And it helps when you can pass out of the post as well, Tim. Dorn. I mean, check out how many defenders Loud Love brings attention to. Three of them, to be exact, kicks it out to Mark Hughes. And Hughes had three made threes last out against Green Bay, 14 points last two times these teams met up. Both those meetings this year won by Wright State, the number two seed in the Horizon League tournament. The Motor City Madness, 14 and four, Horizon League record, but Green Bay looking to pull off the upside. Gentry read the pass and will win the race to the other end to make it a 14 point advantage. Seventh Green Bay turnover. Twelfth right state point, so 12 points off of those seven Phoenix turnovers. Well, a lot of standing around on offense right now. Small, tough pass that Pipes got. Five to shoot. Small going the wrong direction. That was a toe on the line, and he got fouled. What a bailout by Wright State defensively to give Small a chance to get two points. Foot was clearly on the line, but I think the officials want to take a look to just be sure, but that right foot's going to be well inside the line. And it is. Shouldn't take very long for them to look this one over. I think it's interesting this year, Tim, the top two seeds, we'll see Northern Kentucky in the game after this one. Two teams that I would describe, and I mean this with all of the positive that I can put into it are sort of unspectacular. They do everything really, really well. And you're watching Wright State here tonight, there's nothing flashy, there's nothing really fancy about them, but you look up at the scoreboard and they're completely controlling this game against Green Bay. 
Well, I think if you look at both the Wright State and Northern Kentucky, I think they understand their roles. You know, if you go through their roster, both rosters are young. And both rosters, guys kind of understand their strengths and weaknesses. And that's very difficult to do, especially with the AAU era of basketball and the kind of highlight tape. And both those teams kind of play at the old school the right way. And if I could put my coach hat on, I would... I know the response to me would say, Will, you know what, it is spectacular that we play so unselfishly. You know, that's always the conversation with the University of Virginia and Tony Bennett, what a wild win that was against Louisville. I know our guys in the truck got to cover that one. You know, down four with less than a second left, end up winning that game. Benzinger, hand down, man down against Bates. I'm not sure the hand was down, Will Haskett. Down. Let's show it again. In the face. When we get a chance. Gotta get it up. I thought that was pretty good defense, just better offense. But I think that's the conversation with Virginia every year, right? They get it done, but is it really exciting? It's exciting to win. Drawing some contact, TJ Parham with the floater. Twelve second differential game and shot. Small and Hall got tangled up out on the perimeter. Gentry, good slip from Love. Even better, pass out. And a pure one rung up by Jalen Hall. Four straight made field goals for Wright State. Give me the Khalil Small show to end the half. He's got to go somewhere with it. He's not going to get a shot off. And symptomatic of the first half problems for Green Bay, the Phoenix managed just 21 points in the first 20 minutes. And Wright State, what an impressive end-to-end -end performance in that first half. Yeah, the Raiders' defense is really the story in that half as they take a commanding lead into halftime. They hold Green Bay to 29% shooting, eight points from Benzinger, seven from Gentry, and it's all Wright State at the half. Absolutely controlling first half of basketball. Wright State leads this one by 16 at the break and pleased to be joined by the president of Wright State University. She is Cheryl Schrader. Thank you so much for being along with us. How about that first 20 minutes? I think you're ready to just get this thing keep going the way that game oh, started. Oh, yes, just amazing, and it's wonderful to be here. Well, you know, and I, I love talking with presidents of universities because of this relationship with the athletic side. And I know that especially in the Horizon League, the involvement of the presidents is so big when it comes to the student-athlete experience. How do you manage that combination of what you're overseeing on the academic side in the school and then what that athletic ex experience is like for the student athletes? Well, I have to tell you that that's what makes Wright State so special because we have a culture that the PSA culture, people first, students second, athletes third. And we have coaches, our basketball coaches, who come and live that culture. And so it's really been wonderful to see what our teams have been able to do. What's the key in your mind to a student athletic culture, to have it the right way? What is that mix, and how do you try and create that balance within your departments? Well, it's not a win-at-all-cost program, that's for sure. Yeah. And we're really looking at developing the, the people and, and making sure that they understand the service aspects. And they're a team, and they're working together. And, and it's great when you win, too. Yeah. But frankly, we're investing in those students, and they are going to come up and be spectacular citizens in the future. You know, I think that there's so much in the news about what the college athletic experience really is. And I'm not trying to turn this into a referendum on what it really is, but especially at the Horizon League level and what we've seen with that student athlete experience, you know, how can we be stewards for what a true college athletic experience can be in this league as an example abroad? Well, the Horizon League is one of the best leagues in the United States, and that's why I'm so pleased to be a president at Wright State to participate in that. With the other presidents, I just saw my cohort here, and my colleague here, and, and we are looking at, at the whole person. And, you know, I think that that's really important to be able to say that in the Horizon League, we're looking at the scholars, we're looking at the students, we're looking at the people, and the athletes as well. 
I can tell you that I'm very, very proud of our um, men's basketball team, for example, under Scott Nagy and, and his troop. Uh, they've had over a 3.0 GPA wow. every single time, and that says a lot. And that's really what the experience is all about. Cheryl, thanks so much. I know, I'm know i just admiring your green from head to toe, from the nails to the blouse, everything through. You are through and through <laughs> right State today. So I know you want to get back to that seat. 20 more good minutes of basketball. Thanks for taking some time with us here Absolutely. Today. Thank you so much, and go Raiders. <laughs> all Raiders at the half. We'll be back with more here from Little Caesars Arena right after this. Wright State firing on all cylinders in the first half, staking a 16-point lead, the Raiders' largest of the first 20 minutes. Balanced scoring effort, Love and Benzinger with eight apiece, and after a sluggish shooting start, they make four straight field goals to shoot it at 47% in the first 20 minutes. Highlights, more stats. We'll dive deeper into that first half of play right after this. Will this finally be the year the higher seeds advance in the Little Caesars Horizon League Championship? 20 minutes into this first quarter final. The answer so far, yes for Wright State. Hi, everybody. Welcome back inside Little Caesars Arena. That's Tim Doyle. I'm Will Haskett. Well, Tim, efficiency, execution, great defense, 16-point lead for Wright State. What's not to like? Yeah, and 10 assists on 14 baskets and a balance of inside play as well as perimeter play provided by, well, a freshman and, ironically, a senior in Wright State. That was really the difference in the first half for the Raiders. Let's take a look at those first half highlights, and really it was – the anemic offense of Green Bay at the beginning. They missed their first eight shots from the floor, started one of ten. And quite honestly, Tim Doyle, if it weren't for Khalil Small, they'd be completely out of this ball game right now. He made four of the eight baskets for Green Bay in the first half, has ten of their 21. Yeah, it just seems like a lot of standing around on offense. That's surprising because they played so well the game before against Detroit Mercy where they shot over 50% from the field. And you know when you have right state, you know you're going to have to handle the big fella down low, the freshman of the year in the Horizon League, Loud and Love. He's had eight points, but on eight shots, he's missed some chippies. Grant Benzinger a little bit more efficient. He has eight points. He's only taken three shots. Get Benzinger the ball more. I think that's the answer. Wright State, 10 assists on 14 made field goals. And I think that thrust at the end of the first half has really put the separation in this game. They turned over Green Bay seven times. Now you see a 10-point advantage in points off turnovers. And a night after they shot 56% from three-point range, Green Bay just three of 12 from distance. Yeah, but Link Darner, his old coach, at Purdue, Gene Katie used to tell me, Will Haskett, the first four minutes of the second half, most important part of the game, Green Bay has gotten really no offense from their defense. They haven't created any turnovers. They haven't been able to get out on the break. If they're not able to do any of that to start the first four minutes, they're going to dig themselves a hole that may be too big to get back in this game, cut this to single digits, make a push the first four minutes, and then maybe something could happen. Biggest test of the season ahead of Green Bay. Trailing by 16 is the two seed, Wright State looks to move on. Second half comes your way next. The 2018 Horizon League Championships are sponsored by Little Caesars. Pizza ready when you are. Wright State was ready to play. And they tipped it off about an hour or so ago. And in a bit of a hot streak to end, we'll see if that hot streak continues the second half. But that man right there, Scott Nagy, in his second season and taking over this Wright State program after a wonderful start to his head coaching career at South Dakota State has his team on the verge of a semifinal appearance. And Link Darner has been a little nervous entering this postseason. Can his team find the hot shooting touch that has carried them through the end of this season? They're going to need it, Tim Doyle, here to begin the second half in a 16-point hole against a team that really just doesn't give up big surges and big runs like Wright State. Yeah, and really no fast break points as well. Only two for the Phoenix. they got to get some easy baskets because when they've been able – to get out in transition, they've gotten good looks, but in the half court, not so much. Love to go, trying to go over the top. One hands it out of a triple team to Benzinger. Oh, and that's just a symptom of the day for Green Bay as Hankerson rims it out. How about the touch from the big fella? in rhythm to just punch that one out. Yeah, I'm not it. sure what was greater, the pass or the producing pass. at halftime. How about Josh Weber? <laughs> Two guys we featured on the first play. Bam! Nice job, Josh, there in the truck. Largest lead of the night. Ernsthausen just trying to put this one 
almost unreachable the way the right state has come out fighting. Where does Green Bay get energy from besides Small? Jesperson may have traveled before he fell down. Good head fake from Cohen. Punched away by Hughes. And well, they say Cohen was on the way up. They will. Two shots for the sophomore. Junior, I should say. Cohen's had some big games this year. Five double doubles. Had the enormous game when the Phoenix traveled to Oakland. He had 36 big points in that one. It's a tough time finding any offensive rhythm. Really, the whole team has, with the exception of Khalil Small. He was the final Horizon League player of the week, averaging 33 and a half points in the final week of the regular season. He had 16 yesterday, and it's called a quiet 16 against Detroit Mercy. But Cohen has not made a shot today. 0 of 2 from the floor now, missing his first free throw. Still on the schneid. Love was there, just could not squeeze it off the high entry from Ernst House. Not a lot of energy right now in the building, Tim, and I think Wright State's more than okay with that. Yeah, especially when you're able to get Green Bay in the half court, they've just had a really difficult time of getting anything going. A lot of standing around. Look, four guys watch a small dribble right now. Small settles for a step back three. And he may need five or six of those if Green Bay is going to pull the stunner and rally in this one. Love, tough catch. He wants it back. Spins out of another triple team, and guess who's there to catch it on the other end? Two triple teams, two passes, two assists, two Benzinger threes here in the second half. Cohen or leaned in. That got the mess of Benzinger. He's hurt. Gentry is fouled after he came up with the loose ball. Nervous moment there for Benzinger. It looked like he was holding his left wrist. But how about the passing of Loudon Love? He just has such a great feel. And then, you know, if you're Green Bay, probably the one guy you don't want to leave open, Grant Benzinger, who over 50% of his made baskets this year have been three. He shoots over 37%, makes almost three a game. You know, if you're going to double, you probably should find him, Will. Shot missed short, loose ball, bodies diving around. Benzinger was able to go back. It was tipped by Green Bay. Fresh shot clock for the Raiders. Rim not kind to the drive of Winchester. Hankerson, tough fadeaway. There have been a couple of tough shots hit by Small and Hankerson. Hankerson. Small needs somebody to step up. Maybe it's Cam Hankerson. You think back to both baskets they've made, right? Well, you touched upon it. Just one-on-one -on -one move. This what makes him so dangerous. Just great patience. And then for the offhand, oh, baby. You may see that move in 2042 when he's at the YMCA. And that's a compliment, okay? Do not look at that as a derogatory comment. It's good to be a good YMCA player. It's almost halfway to a triple-double. Ten points, four rebounds, four assists. That pass punched away. Hankerson has the steal. And then threw it behind Small. 
just a costly throwaway, eighth turnover for Green Bay, and it takes us to a timeout. You mentioned the first four minutes. Wright State wins it by three, and they've extended the lead off of Loudon Love's great play in the post. It's all Raiders. Travel not a problem to Motor City Madness as the Horizon League comprised of 10 public and private institutions, impressive academic reputation, story traditions with seven schools located in top 36 media markets. And of course, as you know, watching right now, 600 live events annually on the Horizon League network, moving to ESPN3 a few years back. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com. And we're glad you are a part of those 600 live events with Tim Doyle and Will Haskett as wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Motor City Madness across the ESPN family of networks. And Wright State looking to snap a curse of top two seeded teams since Motor City Madness began. They're emphatically going to end that losing streak for top two seeds the way they're going in this one. Love and Benzinger, which we love gets a breather out of the timeout. Benzinger's still out there for Wright State. Hall down the baseline, got Jesperson in the air, and heads to the line for two. And Hall had a big game last out against Green Bay when these two teams matched up. He had 16 points, and a good job of using the up fake. Bam! Little eyebrow fake, gets his defender in the air. And if you're Scott Nagy, when do you start thinking about resting guys? Well, you have no really, to, you have no one to play behind them. That's the that was the one knock on Wright State entering this postseason was, do they have the depth to win three games in four days? You know, you've got Love and Benzinger and some of these freshmen, but you know they lost. I mean, their most productive player in Justin Mitchell, who departed the program mid-season, kind of Cole Gentry kind of came in, took some of those minutes, and Mitchell went to the sideline and said, no, maybe this isn't for me. And they lose a guy, a point guard, that's averaging 11 points and seven rebounds a game, and you're just down bodies right now if you're right state. But the bodies out there right now certainly proving their work. Is that a long-winded enough answer for you? Yeah, I blacked out like <laughs> 10 seconds into it, to be honest with you. I wanted to hear, like, at the six-minute mark, if you're up 20, I think you got to get some guys some other run. Thousand can't connect. Small wrestle it away, and will walk the other way as Winchester fouled him over the bench. But I understand it's the postseason. I understand there's a day off in between, so a chance to kind of rest those legs. But the last thing you want to see is somebody get injured or someone get hurt, and you have a comfortable lead. You know, it's always kind of the the trick of being a head coach. Small really driving to nowhere, but kept it together, laid it in, and. Khalil Small has 15. He is half of Green Bay's points, half of its field goals. And Ernst Housen is fouled. Yeah, I love Khalil Small. I've got a chance to cover him ever since freshman year. And the 6'2 senior from Chicago, just relentless, putting his head down and getting to the basket. Good head fake from Benzinger, and Small slapped him. You know, as a player, you're down 17 right now, but you want to see if you can get it to nine. It's just a, it's a mental hurdle to get back to single digits. And then you go, all right, well, it's only a three-possession game. We banged down a couple of threes. We're right back in it. Falink Donner, you know, I don't think that mark has to be at the 10-minute mark, but I think at the eight-minute mark, you got to get to single digits. Benzinger poked away. Quick active hands by Hunter Christ. A balanced night for Wright State. They've played just eight. Seven of those players have scored. Chris denying Hall on the baseline. And then an offensive foul as Hall tried to shake the defender. They got Ernsthausen with the foul. Yeah, Ernsthausen in the post trying to clear space and gets called for the hook. That's his third foul. So Winchester, Hughes, and Ernsthausen all have three personal fouls for Wright State. Again, not a lot of depth on Scott Nagy's bench. Hankerson step back three. Should stay here. 
No, they're going to give it the other way. Uh, he felt like that was a big shot there, right, from Hankerson. He banged down that three, tried to get a little momentum. You know, we saw Wright State string together four straight possessions of made buckets before the half to kind of build up that 16-point halftime lead. We just haven't seen consecutive makes from Green Bay, and they've had a tough time really finding any offensive rhythm. Ernst Housen departs. Loudon Love is back in, as is Ty Wilburn for Wright State. See how quickly Love gets a post touch. He's there. He's waiting for a defender to get to him, and Gentry didn't enter it in. Eight to shoot. Wilburn crossed himself up. Hall got it back. Tough shot, and somehow got it to go. A player who was two of his last 13 over the last two weeks makes the most difficult of efforts his smallest foul on the other end. Yeah, right. Not define this as a great possession for Wright State. Really not much going on, but Hall takes it upon himself. Good soft touch from that mid-range game. But Wright State's been able to figure it out late in the shot clock. Green Bay is at a very difficult time of getting any good looks. It's really been this guy at the line going one-on-one. -on -one. Small has played every second of this game. And has more than half of his team's points. A night after he played effectively 39 minutes and change. A quick breather in the win over Detroit Mercy. Gotta wonder when's Green Bay gonna start to extend their pressure. You know, at what point do you start trying to, you know, take Wright State out of its comfort zone and use those bodies and that depth to their advantage? Love, great drop down to Wilburn, good head fake, everything but the finish on that possession. Small might take on the whole team himself. He does. Through contact, and Khalil Small refuses to see his career end. I mean, it's a Herculean effort right now by Khalil Small. Good defense, and he gets called for a foul, and he's lucky he didn't get teed up. That's his third. You knew it. I knew it. The American people knew it at Little Caesars Arena that Khalil Small was going to try to make something happen there on that drive. He was able to do it. And then maybe a little overzealous there on that foul call. Kind of got to let that one go, don't you? Wait, he's playing? Is that the fan of me watching? That's fan. All right. Loud and love. Couldn't get it through TJ Parham's hand. I think the ref did give him a little bit of rope there yeah. to kind of get. But once the you know the player had kind of lost his footing, well now you gotta make a call. It's either a walk or a foul. So how does that change, if at all, the assertiveness of small? Five to shoot for Gentry. Look at him create a little bit of space. And there goes Benzinger for the offensive reset. Oh, somehow Gentry kept the handle and midair dished it off to Love. Hankerson could get it, hits the sideline, and that will take us to break. Tim Doyle, there's a lot to love. Oh, you got two kids from the western suburbs of Chicago. Gentry, Love, doing it big for Wright State. The 2018 Horizon League Championships are sponsored by Little Caesars, world's easiest way to pizza. Another gorgeous evening in the Motor City. Third straight year of Motor City Madness. And the second iteration of this bracket for this Horizon League tournament, 51-34, Wright State with the lead. And again, top two seeds playing today. And then we'll have tomorrow off for the winners before the semifinals on Monday championship on Tuesday. And the thought being is after getting by straight to the semifinals, the first go around in 2016 that 
perhaps too much rust for the top two teams through the regular season as Winchester gets free. And this way, a team like Wright State, Northern Kentucky still to go, can get a game under their belt, get a day off before facing a team that will play tomorrow in the semifinals on Monday. Three missed by Chevalier. Ball out will belong to Wright State. Raiders have led the entire way. Largest lead was 21 that came about four minutes of game action ago. Winchester probing all the way through the defense to match that largest lead of the night. Winchester is giving you that contribution, the redshirt freshman off the bench. That just makes this Wright State team so much more dynamic from an offensive standpoint. Another element, another guy that can go out there and get buckets. Look at Small, just refuses to quit fighting. 21 points for Khalil Small. He is 8 of 14 from the floor. The rest of his teammates are 5 of 25. Small up ahead. Does not want to give up the ball and will maintain possession as that will be the fifth foul against Wright State. Oh, you hit that one right on the head, partner. Khalil Small's like, I'm not getting much help here, so I'm going to go off to do this myself. Tenacious offensive rebound. And then on that last play, well, I think he probably should have gave it up. Yeah. He was like, forget that. I'm going to try to make something happen. Oh, he got him in the post. Missed him. Ernst Housen back in with three fouls for Wright State. Has to be careful against Jesperson, and Jesperson travel driving the baseline. Just drag that foot slid across the court. 11 Green Bay turnover. Link Darner has had plenty to say to the officials tonight, but I think most of his ire will be against the lack of execution from everybody not named Khalil Small. Plenty of time to set and shoot. That one's just strong from Mark Hughes. Small has the rebound and was fouled by Winchester. That's the seventh rebound for Khalil Small. Winchester fouled Small with his jaw and took the worst of it off of the brick wall that is Khalil Small. Scott Nagy not too happy with the call. Small. Oh. I was going to say, why not? That one was halfway down. Ernsthausen drawing the contact of Jesperson, and he'll have two free throws. Yeah, Ernsthausen's got a really nice feel for the game. I've watched him throw six different passes down low to love, where perfectly executed. And Nagy likes to go to that high-low version with Ernst Housen coming to that elbow area, and that is not an easy pass to make. Now, he has struggled shooting the three this year, only four of 26, but I think he has the ability to step out. He's a very good free throw shooter, over 70% on the season. Only a junior, you got to think that him and Love next year are going to be even better at that high-low game. By the way, that was the fifth foul on David Jesperson, so the senior from... Merrill, Wisconsin, and 18 minutes of action, fouls out with five points. Well, this is a Wright State team that not once, but twice beat Northern Kentucky. Both games right down to the wire. 84-81, a 68, excuse me, 69-67 win. 
So a three-point win at Northern Kentucky and then a two-point win at home for Wright State. Small. Trying to get teammates into the act as P.J. Pipes hits the corner trip. It might have been the, the possession that resembled last night the most there. Good drive and kick. Green Bay made 13 threes last night. I've had a tough time really getting any offensive rhythm going against Wright State. Loudon Love had a huge mismatch in the post against Trevi and Bell. And with five to shoot, we'll set a high screen for Gentry. Just fading away the whole time, and Hankerson wants to run. Well, you can see Green Bay moving with a purpose here. Cohen, little pull-up jumper. That one is pure. And I don't know why that translates to good offense, but when you move with a purpose and you defend with a purpose, I hate to admit that coaches are right, but it does translate to better offense. First bucket of the night for Cohen. He's playing with four fouls. Wright State has missed his last few from the field, and that drive to the bucket by Mark Hughes snaps a three-minute field goal drought. Yeah, if I was right State, you could definitely take advantage of getting repeatedly into the lane as Pipes gets the bucket driving left and coming back scoring right. Pipes on the drive, and this is now resembling more of a Green Bay style of tempo. And Cohen going right through the screen, set by Benzinger, is going to foul out on the offensive foul coming, or defense trying to come through the screen. Well, salt in the wounds for Green Bay. Just cannot climb the mountain that Wright State has built. Big lead for Wright State. Officials during the timeout looking at this last foul as Cohen ran through the body of Grant Benzinger and fouled out of the game. Just a hard screen set by Benzinger and no one communicating to Cohen. And commits the foul running through a set player on a screen. Yeah, I think there was a lot of frustration there for Sandy Cohen, the third. He's had a tough time really getting anything going from an offensive standpoint. He came into this game the second leading scorer for Green Bay, averaging over 16 points a game. And so far in this game, only one made field goal, 0 of 3 from 3. And you can really go down the list. A lot of guys are struggling with the exception of Khalil Small. was the seventh foul against Green Bay, so one of the bonus for Benzing. Fifteen now for Benzinger. And Tim Doyle, he has not missed a shot. He is five of five from the floor, four of four from three, one of one from the free throw line, and he has eight rebounds. Yeah, Gosh, darn it! You got him! Do not say have a good day to me. Do not say good luck if I go to the casino. Just stay away from me, Will Haskett. Stay away! Love with the block and grabs it to control it. I wasn't even thinking about it until you looked at me when I was saying it. Gosh darn it. Have a good marriage. I wish you a lot of wealth. Don't do any of that. Stay away from me, Will Haskett. Love right to the basket and one as Bell was no match in the post. Um, loving, loud and love is wrong. I don't want to be right. Great patience down low. Can finish with either hand. Paging Luke Herringote, your doppelganger, wears a Wright State uniform. This is an apt comparison. We'll see if that jumper develops through Love's career. Wright State's going to win this game. I think the question is how many does Khalil Small get before it's over for Green Bay? But P.J. Pipes has run eight points in a row together for Green Bay. Pipes just a freshman and a building block for Link Darner, and then Chris was riding Mark Hughes all the way down the floor. I'm surprised that Green Bay hasn't changed defenses at all. You got a lot of guys in foul trouble. They haven't gone to zone. Haven't really extend, extended the pressure. They sort of look reserved to their fate right now. And they've got two guys that have fouled out. Khalil Small's out there scrapping, but I mean, what a difference 24 hours makes. I mean, a well-oiled offensive machine, granted against a Detroit Mercy team that struggles to guard. 
But outside of Small and then P.J. Pipes the last two minutes, there's really been no urgency. Small sets the feet. Boy, he's going to go out with a bang. 24 points now for Khalil Small. And a quick timeout called here by Link Darner. And we will take it with them. Green Bay. Within 13, do they have a furious late rally? Khalil Small refusing to go quiet. The Horizon League Freshman of the Year, Loud Love, 14 points, 6 of 11 shooting. Difference maker in the post and a big reason why Wright State has a 13-point edge late. Yeah, I mean, he is so difficult to guard at this level. He can use either hand, which makes him really impossible for a defender. And when he catches the ball that low, tremendous patience. And it's not just scoring the ball. He's done a nice job this entire game of passing out of double teams, passing out of triple teams. Uh, Grant Benzinger has been the recipient of some excellent passes wide open. And to think that he's only a redshirt freshman, I mean, no, Ivan Drago died in 1989, but this is like his clone. I must break you. He's got four assists to go along with the numbers that you saw on the screen there. And to add insult to injury for Green Bay, the two players that really had the defensive assignment on love to begin the night, Jesperson and Cohen, in conjunction, they both fouled out of this game. That's the toll that Loud Love has put on Green Bay. It's taken two of their top three offensive weapons off the floor because of foul trouble on the defensive end. The closest that Green Bay has been in a while, and that will go away as Everett Winchester hooping the heart. Now you can see Winchester averaging over eight points a game starting to come into his own from an offensive standpoint. His best game of the season against UIC where he had 19 points and eight rebounds. You know, when you look around at this Wright State team, you got steady guard play from Gentry. Obviously love down low. Benzinger's your shooter. But I think a guy like Winchester, when he's able to get into the lane and create those driving opportunities, will they even become even more difficult to guard? The third Raider in double figures. Hankerson, long two. Sixth rebound for Love. Good outlet look. Yeah, Benzinger is still perfect. I have a problem with that when someone's perfect in the field. You got to keep shooting until you're not perfect. A little discard. Drive off to Winchester, back-to-back -back layoffs. No, I don't think anybody should go through a game perfect. You got to shoot till you miss. You missed a free throw. It's well documented on this broadcast. <laughs> Bell with the three. <laughs> only his 13th made three of the season. You know, you felt like if Green Bay was going to win this game, they were going to have to get Loud and Love out of his comfort zone, make double-digit threes. Just hasn't translated. On a couple defenders. Love the tip and one. He's big. He's barely. But he's got great feet and a soft touch. So don't stereotype him as just this big, burly man. He is talented, and when he makes free throws, that's been kind of a bugaboo this year, under 60% from the line. Really impossible to guard. Every time Green Bay gets a glimmer of hope, something offensively goes right for Wright State. That's a good call as Mark Hughes is sort of fading away. and They'll send Khalil Small to the line for one and the bonus. That is the seventh team foul against Wright State. You know, I think the difficult thing to figure out with Wright State is, you know, how did they lose to Milwaukee? How do you lose to Cleveland State? In Milwaukee, not once, but twice. You lose to IUPUI. And they beat Northern Kentucky on their home court a couple of weeks ago and in a virtual tie at the top of the Horizon League standings. But with two wins over Northern Kentucky, you had the tiebreaker. And the last week of the season, you go on the road, you lose at IUPUI, and you sort of lose that advantage. You also had that 
Um, and so, yeah, that one game is the difference at the end of the season between the one seed and the two seed because they couldn't close it out down the stretch. We have seen their efficiency operating at a high level here tonight. This is really championship caliber execution from the Raiders in this contest this evening. Well, we're talking a lot about offense, but this is a Green Bay team that if you watched them last night, over 50% from the field, over 50% from three. Love was going to get called for the foul after the shot was up. We'll walk the other way for free throws, but Gentry's floater is good. Love trying to discard. That is just the first foul against Loudon Love. Yeah, you got to, you know, if you're Scott Nagy, you got to keep telling Loudon Love, keep going in there, throw your body around. Yeah, that was just like, I'm just big foul. I'm just bigger than everybody. I'm going to throw my elbow here. The referee saw that. Sometimes it's not helpful to be that big and burly. That time, the foul going against Love. He goes to the bench. You think he's done for the game? Should be. I would. I, you would think so, right? 18-point lead. You do get tomorrow off before the semifinals on Monday. But unless something loopy happens here in the next couple of minutes, you'd like to think you've got the bodies that could hold down the post as Chris earns the second one. Show the highlight of the defense for Wright State. Green Bay last weekend set a program best in made threes. They made 15 at Oakland. They made 14 against Detroit Mercy in the regular season finale, 13 last night. Tonight, just eight threes, 38% shooting from the arc. And that we said, could they shoot their way to an upset victory? Uh, the miss so far needs you to believe that that may not be the case. We will take this time out as Green Bay wants to talk it over. Still within striking distance, perhaps, with four and a half to blow. Battle in this first quarter final matchup between two team, two individuals on the All Horizon League first team, and they have lived up to that billing. Khalil Small, a game high 26 for Green Bay tonight, while Grant Benzinger has not missed from the floor with 15 on the opposite side for Wright State. Strong group of upperclassmen on that list, and there you see Loud Love, the lone underclassman to get first or second team recognition, a big reason why you may see Wright State as a preseason pick next year to perhaps supplant whoever comes out of it for a championship. It could be a championship run for Wright State here in 2018. Love one of many building blocks for Scott Nagy in now just his second season as the coach at Wright State. 16-point game. Wright State has led the entire way, led by as many as 21 here in the second half. You see a little pressure from Green Bay trying to turn right state over. Yeah, you surprised you didn't see that earlier, Will? You're the player, you tell me. No, I'm surprised. Really surprised. They haven't really mixed it up at all on defense. And you'd think for a team that wants to go out there and score almost 80 points a game, they'd try to do just that. Well, how much is that as Wright State calls timeout as Gentry had nowhere to go, and it'll be a 30-second timeout for Wright State? How much of that is respect for Wright State's ability to get it up and down the floor. You need to try and turn them over, but are you concerned with their ability at all five positions that if there is a breakdown defensively that they can just eat you alive in that pressure? Yeah, but you were getting eaten alive anyway. I'm just surprised there wasn't any sort of adjustment in this game. Now, here's the advantage of not playing the night before. Yep. You know, say what you want, right? Green Bay was in a, a bit of a ball game. You know, you kind of needed every basket that – Cameron Hankerson had when he went crazy against them, burying seven threes, and they came out flat as a pancake. And they did not score their first basket until over seven minutes into this game and dug themselves a hole, and I'm just surprised there wasn't any kind of adjustment from Link Darner trying to get out of that hole. The team has been living in the 90s and above the century mark the last couple of weeks. It's going to struggle to get to 70 here tonight. Just beating the horn was Winchester. We're under four to play. Pipes. He's been a nice little energizer off the bench here in the second half. And a foul committed against Gentry by Christ. And in a double bonus, we'll walk the other way for two. We've 
Again, Cole Gentry transferred in at the semester a year ago from South Dakota State, recruited there by Scott Nagy, and then came with them and rose to be the starter when he became eligible just a couple of games after earning eligibility, and has just been a steadying force and replacing the production of Justin Mitchell, who departed the program after 16 games. And two calm free throws there for Gentry, who has 11. Chris up and under Ernsthausen, and they're going to call the big fella for the foul. Now Parker Ernsthausen has had a brutal, brutal game as far as fouls. If you go through the four that he has picked up, a hooking call, a blocking call, an offensive foul call, and then that last one, he's got to be like, I can't catch a break out here. Officially a block, more of a hip check. The call there against Ernsthausen is the freshman hunter, Christ, makes the first. Got Baines back in for Green Bay. As Link Darner has gone deep to the bench here today, he has played 10, making 11 bodies in this game, and a timeout given to Wright State. Both teams now with one timeout remaining. As the trap forcing a little panic here from Wright State. 3.30 to go. Green Bay hasn't really made threes in a clip that they're expected to, but really nothing in this game leads you to believe that Wright State's capable of giving up a big cushion, but crazier things have happened in March. Yeah, I, I'm not sure about, you know, if they're going to have enough energy or enthusiasm. I think that was something that was really lacking from Green Bay. And, you know, I think conference tournaments are so hard to handicap. And you're playing in a neutral site. You're playing in unfamiliar territory. Obviously a beautiful arena here in downtown Detroit, the Li Little Caesars Arena. But you don't know how teams going to come out. And yesterday, Green Bay came out. If you watched that game where they made 13 threes, you thought, wow, they feel comfortable here. And then if you watch the first seven minutes today, they look like they've never seen this basketball court. And with the women's tournament going on at the same time here with Motor City Madness, you've got 20 teams jockeying for position. So you really only get about a 30-minute window the day before your game to get in here, hit some shots, and get accustomed to the surroundings. Winchester worked hard to break the pressure, and now Wright State can try and take the air out of the basketball. I always found it very difficult to shoot in NBA arenas, whether it was at Madison Square Garden, where I played as a freshman at St. John's, or at the United Center, or Conseco Fieldhouse. What was Conseco Fieldhouse? What's it called now? Down in, yeah, it was Conseco when I was in school. Either way, it was in Indianapolis. It's where the Pacers play. Always felt like those NBA arenas weren't very difficult. The rims weren't forgiving. Gentry, a wonderful free throw shooter, 85% off of a questionable call that Link Darner is still disputing against Trevion Bell. Wright State trying to ice this at the line. Green Bay hustling it up. Need a couple of quick threes. Small off the screen. It's been a while since he's put one up. Pipes, that's a tough shot. Just inside the arc and he makes it and hurt himself on the way down. I think he landed on the foot of Gentry, rolled the ankle, and he is in some serious pain with his left foot. P.J. Pipes has had himself quite a second half. That now is 12th point on five of seven shooting. He's become the second offensive option, but well, that looks like something you're not going to come back from in this game. Now a 13-point edge. Now Link Darner still having a conversation with the referees there. That's been ongoing for the entire two hours of this game, hasn't it, Will? Yeah, he is certainly walking on thin ice right now as Pipes is going to walk it off back to the bench. That's the left foot right there twisting off of Gentry's foot. Yeah, turned ankles are one of those that the pain is excruciating for about a minute. And then it does lessen. And Pipes was able to walk off on his own accord. Immediate 
double there. Kind of fight through it. That's a travel. That is the right call. Mark Hughes stepped through, thought he was being contacted a bit, but really just forced the issue. Had no help there, Tim. There was no one around from trying to pass to. You know, I know it's the end of the game and Wright State's trying to salt this one away, but Green Bay has done a nice job of kind of taking them out of their comfort zone. It's caused some turnovers. Hankerson stepped back. Never had a chance. And this time, Hughes is fouled. If that's small, that's going to be four. That is the case. So small. Hasn't shot it in quite a while after running out to 26 points. Has yielded a bit more of late. And Wright State, a 71% free throw shooting team. Not one of the better clips that you will see, but really good at their guard positions, including Hughes, who's an 83% shooter from the strike. And again, Wright State is not a team that's going to surrender big runs of points. So while Green Bay has played better the last five or six minutes, it's just it's too big of a hill in front of them on the scoreboard. Another step back. Hankerson really labored just to get the ball up. Small couldn't wrestle it away. And Wright State starting to feel this one is in their hands. Ernsthausen, good look to Gentry racing to the basket. I talked about Ernsthausen passing before, especially that high load of love, but that time dropping a dime, big to small. Five players in double figures for the Raiders. Small's going to try and get his at the end of the game, and he was hacked on the wrist by Hughes. And that will be the disqualifying foul for Mark Hughes. And good job by Benzinger recognizing the double team, and then that is just a thing of beauty. It's been the story for Wright State today. 19 assists on 28 made field goals. They got to be pleased with this execution. And Will Haskett, got to be honest, this really was never no. a game. And, and look, we've seen big comebacks, we've seen big rallies, but even if Green Bay had gotten it to 10, which they haven't gotten it even within 10 in the second half, it just never had the feel like Wright State was going to allow this team to come back on them, even if it got a little bit closer. It's just had that lopsided sort of vibe from the game's first 10 minutes. And remember, you know, Green Bay misses its first eight shots from the field. They start one of ten. Wright State wasn't shooting it well either. It was still an eight-point game at that time, but it still felt like the Raiders were just the better team coming out of the locker room. Yeah, I think that's well said. They just couldn't get any momentum, any energy going. And besides this guy at the free throw line, hasn't had a whole lot of help as well. First teamer, Khalil Small, has 28. Do I dare try it? He's 7 of 7 from the free throw line. He's no, not you missed. can't do it again. You cannot do it again. There you go. You're back. We'll see you tonight, my friend. And they block as Everett Winchester is fouled. Did a little acting there to earn a trip to the other end. Small is one off of his career high, and it would be fitting given what he has done this year in the program for Green Bay being the emotional, physical, everything leader for the Phoenix after they lost eight players from a season ago. It would be somewhat symbolic if he could get to a new career high in what will be his final game wearing the green and black. Winchester with 13. Wright State led by the 17 points of Loud and Love, who you asked the question, the answer so far is he has not come back after exiting this game with about four and a half minutes to go. 27 minutes for the big fella. Seven rebounds, four assists in addition to those 17 points. Keep a little extra tread on the tire for a semifinal showdown coming up on Monday. Small for a new career high. Thirty-two for the senior. It's been a pleasure to watch tonight. Unfortunately, just didn't have the help around him. And a 
foul given, and Winchester will go right back to the free throw line. And he's made a ton of difficult shots. And as a former player, I knew what my career high was. I wonder if a guy like Small, he's been determined to go out there and get every single basket, imploring his team to stay within this game. 32 points, hats off to a senior who's had an outstanding career for the Phoenix. He had 30 on the road at Cleveland State back on January the 6th and has bested it by two here tonight as Winchester misses the front end. And Link Darner's got a lot of good pieces to build around next year, but replacing the leadership and the toughness of Khalil Small is going to be a big task and huge shoes to fill. Small, a block called on Hernshausen, and that might be the most difficult five foul <laughs> foul out in the history of college basketball is all five of them borderline 50-50 calls, and Ernsthausen, I think, got the raw end of all five of them. Yeah, it's it's only funny because <laughs> they're, they're going to win. They're winning, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, if something terrible happens to your friend, but everything actually is okay, you can laugh at them. Like my friend last week kind of sort of got hit by a car, but he's okay, so we can make fun of him because of that. Like, he's fine. All that happened is he, he got a cracked screen on his iPhone. So sorry to hear about your friend's phone, no, Tim. Yeah, he, he's fine. So he didn't have to go to the hospital or anything. So, yes, you're able to make fun of him. Ernst Townsend fouls out four points, just 19 minutes, but will at least be able to play another. Khalil Small adds to his career high. Next free throw he makes will match his season high from the charity stripe. And again, 33 of his team's 69. And when I mean friend, I actually mean my mom. She's doing fine. <laughs> She's totally okay. Mom, I love you. We're just getting set for our next game, which you can see in about a half an hour's time. Northern Kentucky and Cleveland State. One seed trying to make it four straight with chalk in a tournament that has never given us that before. Foul given. And Jalen Hall will head to the line. It's a 64% free throw shooter. It is a 12-point game. We saw Virginia went on the road down four with less than a second to go. So crazy things have happened. That is the fifth foul, by the way, on Green Bay's Hunter Christ. So the freshman fouls out. We've had four disqualifications, two on either side. Excuse me. There have been three on Green Bay, two on right state to foul out. Tim, care to guess how many fouls we've had called in this game? Don't do the math. Don't look over my shoulder, you cheater. 43 fouls whistled in. It has been a physical game. I will give credit to the staff. These teams have gone at each other tonight. There have been plenty of contact, but there were certainly some words from both coaching staffs but hard to police two teams that really wanted to go at each other in this game today and two teams that pride themselves on physical play. Small one of them tied up. Possession arrow keeps it here with Green Bay. Man, I love the way that Khalil Small is laying it all on the line. Last time you ever wear that jersey, it's a strange feeling when you take it off for the last time. It's kind of... Sets in on you. You don't want to take it off. But he is going down with his full arsenal of moves. And that one partially blocked by Winchester. And that one up ahead. Wilburn will smartly hold on to it. Let's see if Green Bay calls off the dogs. No, they will. They'll wrap up Jalen Hall to try and extend this one with 60 seconds to go. Now, if you were finishing up a great career like Khalil Small. Do you want, even though it's on the road, neutral floor, do you want a curtain call right now or are you out there until the final horn? Great question. Um, Based on the player, probably. I'd probably want to be out there. No indication that Link Darner will pull his senior as 
Paul makes the first. Yeah, as a competitor, you'd rather the final minutes out there playing. I get what you're saying. I guess, you know, each player, each coach is going to be different here. Khalil's trying to get some more buckets. He's trying to extend that career high. And they let the contact go as Bell goes through the defender. Timeout by Green Bay. That is the Phoenix's last. And a 13-point game. A chance to try and set up something full court here. As Scott Nagy just wants an explanation as to why the whistle was swallowed on that contact in the post. Again, Northern Kentucky, Cleveland State coming up. NKU swept the season series with the Vikings. And after two installments of Motor City Madness the last two years here at the Little Caesars Horizon League Championship, saw the one and two seed fail to win a single game. Wright State will end that streak here in 2018. And Northern Kentucky will look to make it one and two into the semifinals as Tim, we take a look at the bracket. All eight of the higher seeds advancing from yesterday. Wright State's going to move on to face the winner of UIC and Milwaukee. That game tomorrow, the first of two again here on ESPN3 in the Northern Kentucky Cleveland State tonight. Northern Kentucky, like we talked about earlier in the broadcast, like Wright State, process team, do things well, all the little things really well, take care of business, and you can move in March. Uh, that's going to be a great game between Wright State and if, if I say, UIC is able to advance. That was a game that was exciting to watch down in Chicago. The game that Wright State pulled away late to win 88-81. They needed every one of Loudon Love's big buckets in that game. He was outstanding with 20-plus points, 10-plus rebounds. But UIC is a team on the rise. And Athletic, that's going to be a difficult matchup for Wright State if, if, if the Flames advance. Asking for help to come out and trap, and Gentry's just Tasmanian deviling it through it and finally is hacked by Hankerson and a couple of more free throws for Wright State here in the waning seconds of this ball game. Again, we've crept past the bottom of the hour, so we'll be a few minutes behind 8 o'clock Eastern time for that tip between Northern Kentucky and Cleveland State. Coming up here from Little Caesars Arena, the first look at the reigning Horizon League Tournament champions. Northern Kentucky just kind of walked through the wash of that. And here's the answer to the question. Khalil Small will exit a high five to all of his teammates. And he goes out with a career best, 34 points tonight. And Tim, after four years of watching him fight night in and night out, it was fun to call. The guy has really expanded his offensive game and really it all came to light on Maybe the biggest and brightest stage, his last college game where he did all he could, it just wasn't enough. But here was a guy who was mostly known as an athlete and a finisher at the rim. Uh, this year made 53s. That was something I would not have believed when he put on a Green Bay uniform for his first time. But our Wright State did all the little things. It was utter domination from the get-go. Green Bay did not score their first bucket to nearly seven minutes in. And the Wright State Raiders advance. Wright State never trailed in this game. Took the lead a couple of minutes in. Led for 38 minutes in this game. Led by as many as 21. And on the shoulders of six players in double figures, including Loud and Love with 17 points and seven rebounds. The big fella, Tim, was all as advertised here tonight. Oh, he is a special talent, but sensational footwork. A soft touch, but a high basketball IQ as it wasn't just love. He got other contributions. Benziger had made some tough shots. Winchester, once again, off the bench was really tough. A complete team effort for Wright State. 8.07 first tip between Northern Kentucky and Cleveland State. Hope you can join us for that right back here at Little Caesars Arena. For Tim Doyle and Will Haskett and for our entire crew, we'll see you back here in a half an hour as Wright State moves on.